This is a Sony A80K, which is a fantastic television with great sound. But what if I told you you can get a better movie experience with this? This is the S2000 soundbar that is made to give your Sony television or any brand far as that goes a better audio experience. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know. So let's get started. So here it is guys, this is the Sony HT-S2000 and HT means home theater pretty much. So let's take a closer look. On the front of it, you have a center channel and that's gonna give you all your dialogue. There's a left and right speaker over here and that's gonna give you like your stereo sound. On the corners here, we have a subwoofer and the cool thing is there's a bass chamber right inside of it that's gonna give you the explosive sound without adding a subwoofer. Now if we look at the inputs on the back of it, over here we have an HDMI and a fiber optic. And then on the other side, we have your power input. And it does have these built-in holes, so you can mount it on the wall very easily. Now I found something interesting that in front of here, we have an IR sensor, and this is important because if you sit in front of your TV, you're not gonna be able to send a signal over if you don't have Bluetooth. So what Sony did is it has a relay system, so it goes from one side and it comes out here to control your device. There's also a USB, and you can hook up your different media and play your music right from that drive. Over here we have your Sony logo, and if we go to the other side, we have these touch sensitive buttons. We have your power, input source, Bluetooth, and your up and down volume controls. It comes with an HDMI cable, a power brick, a remote control, and you get instructions on how to get everything up and running. On the back of most TVs, you're gonna see something that's labeled ARC or eARC, and this is the one on this Sony. So what we're gonna do is just take a HDMI cable, go ahead and plug it in like this, then plug the other side into the S2000, plug in the power cord. Now we got everything plugged in, let's go ahead and get it set up so we can start using it. Now since I'm using a Sony television, I got this pop up to hit next, and we'll go ahead and go through the controls here. So yes, I can hear it. And that's how easy it is to set it up with your Sony television. powers beyond imagination and they may think they are meant to rule the world it brings the on-screen action alive and immerses you in every moment. So after doing those demos to me, I thought the soundbar had a really good sound. In fact, the dialogue when watching regular TV is gonna sound great. Now when it comes to the bass response, it is full, but don't expect it to shake your room like an external subwoofer. So Sony has an add-on subwoofer that you can put on this speaker to give it that extra bass response. Some other things that I didn't point out is that it does have a screen here in the front. And with that screen, you can use the smoke control to get through some of the features. And they also have an application. So let me show you what that looks like. Now take a look at the remote control in more details. We have your input and it'll switch from TV, Bluetooth, or your media off the back. You have your power button as well as sound field off and on. And then over here we have voice controls so you can actually get better audio for the voices, especially if you're watching a lot of movies with dialogue. We have your volume up and down. And then there's a multiple step bass control right there. Now, late at night, you can hit this button and that basically gives you a more compressed sound. And then we have a mute button right there. So here's what the application looks like. And you can see that you have all the same controls that I showed you guys a minute ago. If you go over to settings, this is where you can add wireless speakers such as the subwoofer or the rear speakers. You also have sound settings, you have HDMI settings, and then you can go into your system settings and set up different things like playing music off your USB device. Another feature about this soundbar is that you can update the software when Sony puts it out. The Sony soundbar has 250 watts and it retails for $499. And the great thing about this speaker is that you can expand it with rear speakers and a subwoofer and everything is wireless, but you have to use the application to set it up. Now, just in case you're wondering if I found any flaws in it, there's a few things that I think Sony has room for improvement. For example, when I hook my phone up to the soundbar with Bluetooth, 
there's no control zone here to change the track, so I had to use my phone all the time. So that's something they could add to this remote control. The second thing is the music feature using the USB drive. I couldn't format it to make it work in here. It just kept saying invalid. So Sony should make it a little bit more compatible with everything on the market. But overall, I thought it had a good sound, especially if you're sitting right in front of it. It's going to immerse you into the movie or your sporting events or everything you like. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace!